Objectives and solo event guide. Hello everybody. Do bear in mind before kind of getting into this video, you do not have to follow any of the ways that I'm going to be showcasing, but it's an alternative method. Because, as a lot of people will know, you can just quite literally go into the side quest using some of the respective champions and get the objectives done. That That's it. You can do that. It's, it's your choice. But if you don't want to do that and you want to use some specific champions like use Cosmics and Mystics, because do bear in mind the quest basically says, or doing the objective, sorry, doesn't call for using Mystics or even Cosmics, for example, um, and even Mutant Champions. So, yeah, if you want to use Mutant Champions, like, I enjoyed using Bishop. Bishop doesn't count. Could use Archangel. Archangel doesn't count. You could use Danny Moonstar. She doesn't count for any objectives. So, you've got to use some of the other champions. So, go and do that if you want to. But what I'm going to offer you is an alternative to this. So first of all, kicking off the first one, Curious Explorer, defeating a Massacre or Taskmaster. There are several options for this one. There is, in particular, going to fight Rocky, YYY77, which is an easy massacre. I do have another suggestion. By the way, shout out to Krastos. Link to his YouTube channel is in the link in the description. But you can also go in and... Type in Eddie Brock right there and go and duel a 5 star rank 3 version of Massacre. That's an option. Or you could do something which uh, I've been personally enjoying. If you go down to some of the lower content like the daily quest, you'll notice that you can find some of the champion options uh, that are suggested. So for example, like here is a Massacre in the easiest uh, Catalyst. No, Isofield? It's one of the, it's, cat, it's the Catalyst one or it's the ISO one. In any case, just go to some of the lower ones. The great thing about this is you can go in without even committing. And like, you can just go, oh, there's a massacre there. I mean, for example, as soon as you find one of the respective champions, you can quite literally do exit, restart. And all of a sudden, you're uh, you're on the way to kind of farming. You only need to do this seven times. So look, this is pretty much kind of like a very kind of easy thing to do without anything. Like we're doing it right now. It's as simple as that. And of course, you do have to use the respective champion against it. So one of the uh, classifications is here is use a skill-based champion for this. So I'm using a skill-based champion to do this, of course. Now, I've just gone into the Proving Grounds and found a Quake. This is, again, good because I just need to use a, uh, what is it, uh, science-based champion for this one, right? There are other places you can go, like you can do an 8 energy Quake in 3.1.6, uh, where there's a 3 star. And I haven't found anything good on energy spend that's Captain America orientated. So if you look at, as I said, go to like Proving Ground, just check out to see if there's any of the champions listed that you can go and fight. And of course, make sure to restart. I've put a link in the description to this month's spreadsheet, uh, which has a few black bits and bobs when it comes to uh, a guide. And of course, when it comes to the solo event, as I've said before, the only re way you can get rope fairly easily is just quite simply use a shield, hashtag shield based champion or a mercenary champion in some lower content. You only really need to auto fight it for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you know, you'll probably find yourself absolutely smashing uh, the event uh, without even kind of worrying about it. I did 10 fights with uh, a um, hashtag mercenary but to be honest I only did that because I needed to get this video and the video today and the earlier one done as quickly as possible. Okay so that's all done where do we go next for Winter Soldier? Now there are some options whether or not you go to Apothecary and again some of the lower content because there are things like loot cages there but unfortunately it is very much high on the energy spend in order to access it so I would say look to alternative options. So I've got two for you, two particular options that are quest orientated, but look out for it to, in other, you know, quests and lines. So you could go to Realm of Legends. It will mean that you'll be doing three energy spend per time in order to defeat it. So again, that's up to you whether or not you want to go to Realm of Legends to defeat it. Or you can go, uh, this is a bit more expensive. This is a five energy spend. If you go to 1.1, so Act 1, book, well, book 1, Act 1, and then go to quest number six. And again, this is an option. I'm not saying you have to do this. You should do this. It's a case of 
it's an option and then what we do is we grab ourselves a tech we put that into the team we then go save we then go begin quest and then if we go and look upwards or downwards downwards it is there is a winter soldier that's there it's not as i said it's not necessarily an effective option it's an option that is alternative so it's up to you how you approach this particular winter soldier option but i would say remember not to auto fight because sometimes it may send you burning to further energy than you like i'm just doing the winter soldier version uh, that's in 1.1.6 mainly because uh, i need to save a bit of time whilst i'm making this video Although something I've just noticed is this particular one might be bugged. I've gone through a couple of times and, you know, gave it the benefit of the doubt that it would work. But unfortunately, for some reason, it's not been kind of like working. So I would say to uh, to just do that in a side quest and it looks bugged. I mean, look, I'm not being, I think, you know, I think I've gone mad. Is I've just defeated Winter Soldier about three times already with... Uh, a tech based champion which you can see on screen um yeah so i think it's bugged so i don't know like i'm, I'm pretty certain that i'm not going mad we're going to end on the rhino one because here's the thing you can either go through the side quest and do it and i would recommend because you have to do that uh, six times at uh, six times out of seven it kind of helps for you picking up the shovel so i would say instead it's up to you how you want to approach it like for me you could even go and do a little uh, a little fight in uh, duels because you get um uh, what is it five per day you know i've got uh, i've already done it once so i can literally do it in this video let's go and defeat this champion with either a skill tech or science Although I really hope this actually works because now I'm worried about the objective not working properly. So let's just see that in this particular segment right here. Uh, let's just defeat this three star rinks. Shout out again to Krestos for the information. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go back because I just want to make sure that it's actually working with the objective. The answer is. Yes, yes it is. Okay, so we can continue that on. And there we go, smash that particular one. I'm going to call this the bypass trick, because you literally just bypass what you need to do in, in order to grab it. However, I am going to now experiment with Winter Soldier Fight in Realm of Legends, just to see, that, you know, is that working? Because, like, the question is, like, what's broken and what is working? So, uh, post-edit me, uh, I've just decided to, like, give a test when it comes to the Winter Soldier fight in uh, Realm of Legends, and that's broken as well. Uh, so, I'll just show on screen. So, as you can see, I've just completed the fight. I was using Penny Parker as a tech champion, and for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to be working. Like, you can see, it's still one of seven, same problem. So, um, forewarning for that one. And I wonder if not, there's uh, is there something on the forums about that? Probably is, or you know, because it's because it's a bug. It's very very buggy. Uh, side quest is the only place you can actually get it. Uh, so so yeah, interesting as well. I'm not the only one with some other people actually saying same thing uh, that um, fight's not registering for Rhino and the rope event. So. Uh, I suppose, you know, not all rhinos, not all, ri not all rhinos are rhinos. So it looks like there is a bug with it of some description. So, yeah, full warning, everybody. Like, kabam, have to fix this because it's broken. Uh, yeah, neither all Winter Soldiers uh, are either. Okay, so I'll probably make a mention that in a separate video. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll treat this as a guide for the time being. The only way it looks like you can do it is side quest for now. Uh, so that's the catacombs and you have to do that and be very careful because you don't want to lose out your entries and just quickly because uh, I could <laughs> nearly forgot to end the video to kind of like discuss some of the other things so the big spender event is very much a case of like spending gold like I wasn't quite sure about this uh, and this is very straightforward you know the amount of gold you get I mean, I'll give you a good example for like a Paragon perspective. So end game players, I'll talk about like lower, you know, progression in a minute. Uh, it's just a case of like, if you do some of the, uh, let's say the lower, you know, content, then you're quite literally just getting the gold. So Paragon wise, and let's just kind of get some info. So I'm just finishing off the spreadsheet. So this will be once the video is done, then uh, and you'll see the link in the description. The spreadsheet is sort of done. Obviously, there's some more tabs to do. Uh, but uh, say you get seven times, four, like 28 runs. Say we do 28 runs, you get two, two mil gold. Effectively, you're just going to be able to like, you know, get that done and 
and dusted like i could do it now like there's probably champions i got i've got to level up uh or rank up whatever spend gold whatever it is you get more gold by doing incursions if you're desperate if you want to get it done uh but i think there's a time limit on stuff so let's just kind of like double check that so say for example i'm like okay um i've got to so i've got to level up silk silk is actually on my list of champions to level up but so i'm just gonna uh, throw on uh, a load of levels right now um you know we'll just try and get as, as much as possible uh for this particular video just to kind of like showcase it oh man i don't have any science it's always terrible when you try and do videos and you're like oh i've got enough of this no you don't have enough of that uh so yeah i'm just going to add some more levels here and then we're going to see what that does to my um uh you know my my kind of like my score thus far going back out of it going again going back out of it again uh, and then going to uh, down to the solo event, uh, the big spender, 169,000. And of course, I need a lot more for that. Um, I think I saw somebody with an image saying that this is actually, this one here is locked behind a, uh, like a time frame window. Um, yes, I found it actually. So this particular one, which you can see here, is actually locked by, behind like a 20 day kind of like thing. So yeah, um, you can't get it now. You can't get it now. Um, look, if, uh, is it gonna ba break you? Kind of like not having access to it. I don't. I don't know. Like it's not. It's not too much of an issue for me. But it's good that we see like some more primordial dust, which I'm at my max. I've got to make sure to kind of do ascend two champions. I haven't as ascended my first six star, mainly because I'm trying. I was trying to wait for Cyber Weekend. Which you could actually do, funny enough. I could actually still save that. So there's a little bit of a kind of a sidewind tip to anybody. Is that you could wait for Cyber Weekend before having that into your stash. Because do bear in mind, if you're like, are you desperate? Are you not desperate? Make those decisions before kind of jumping in. But I'm going to end the video there. Um, I think I've covered like... All the stuff with this, you know, this very straightforward month. I don't think there's too much to go over. Probably like the best champions to take into side quest uh, type video for this week, maybe. And then do some for the next week. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Uh, there's really like a top tips for the month's top five tips. Yeah. Um, but in any case, I'm going to start working on some banquet event based uh, stuff and prep for that and some other content as well. So thanks very much for watching. Check out some other content located on the screen right now. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.